Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are here today to talk about an insane new feature of FIBA 21 Ultimate Team that is changing the market like crazy. And it's wild what it can do to the game and what this means for FIFA. It is preview packs. I want to talk about what this means for the game of FIFA Ultimate Team, what these packs are, how long they're going to be out, and can we expect these into the future of FIFA? There's a lot to talk about, so we'll try to cover it all today here on this video. But first, if you're not aware why these packs look different, what that little eye symbol is, and what this all means, EA Sports dropped a madness on us today on Friday with the whole new promo of Path to Glory Team 2 dropping in packs. Um, just an hour before that, they dropped these new time-limited preview packs. Basically what it is, is it allows you to preview the contents inside of a pack uh, before you actually buy it to see if you actually want to spend the coins and then spend the or spend the FIFA points on it. So you look for this icon above the pack, you open the pack, you look what's inside of it, and then you can either back out or you can choose to buy the pack. Now there is a timer, we'll talk about that too, but this is kind of the info page, right? So a little more info about these promo packs. It's not for the rest of FIFA 21 just yet. As of right now, it is only for the remainder of Festival of Football. So today, June 18th, it's going to run all the way until July 16th, which is the end of this promo. Um, and you can do this for all types of packs in the store. Bronze, silver, gold, and promo packs of all types works in the store. It does not work for division rivals rewards, objective packs, SBC packs, or whatever. Any packs that you uh, get from like doing objectives or all that, you can't do this for those, right? Those you just have to open and you get whatever you get. But in the promo packs that are in the store that you can buy with coins or FIFA points, you can do this for all of these. So again, let me go into the store. And actually right now, um, since we are on a promo Friday, there's actually lightning rounds that are released right now. So I'm going to actually on this video, alt preview an ultimate, an ultimate pack, 125,000 coin pack. And this is why the market's crazy uh, with these cards today. So basically, let me take you through it, right? I'm going to press the X button or A on whatever console you're on. I didn't have to pay any coins. I didn't put any FIFA points. I am previewing this pack and I get a walkout. What's going to be in this pack? I get a French center forward. I get Benzema. So I just packed Benzema, uh, 89 rated card. Okay, nice. I got an 89 rated Benzema. It's not actually mine though. This is technically just a preview. What else is in this pack? Okay, Benzema, Parejo, a lot of 83s, 82s. Um, you know, I'm going to scroll down through the rest of this pack. You know, okay, so this pack is okay, right? Is it worth 125,000 coins? Not really. So I'm not going to buy it, but this is how it looks, right? And of course, this is a lightning round, so it's only open for 57 more minutes. Um, and then when you get here, though, after you open the pack, you can choose to either buy the pack right here. Uh, it shows my Benzema there with the pack behind it. I can either choose to buy it with the coins or the FIFA points. I can check the pack probabilities from right here. 6% chance of packing a Path to Glory player. And then I can back out as well, right? So I just technically opened that pack. And that pack is now like sitting there and it's saved for me. And I'm not going to be able to open another ultimate pack unless I either claim that one and buy it um, or preview what's already inside of it, if you know what I'm saying. So... Um, as you can see here, I have to either buy this pack or I can't open any more. So that's one of the issues with this. So there's a lot to talk about with this, right? Why did EA do this? Well, a lot of people think that EA did this because they're coming under fire because um, a lot of lawsuits are being made against EA Sports about gambling, about um, this is basically FIFA packs are gambling, right? You're opening them up and they weren't really telling you what's going to be inside. They weren't disclosing, um, you know, it's very addictive as well. People love to open packs and to pack cards. And that's just kind of what this game is built around, right? Packs, getting cards and building your ultimate team. And I think EA is under fire recently in the past couple of years with a lot of accusations that they are promoting gambling to especially a lot of younger children and kids. Um, some of you guys may be watching this video that play this game that are not of the legal gambling age, if you will, um, but it has some of those same components into it. So I think what EA is trying to do here is show you the contents that are going to be inside these packs so that they can look at those people that are suing them and they can say, hey, we're telling these people it's not a, they don't know what's happening. It's not like you're just rolling the dice. They know what's going to be inside some of these packs because we're giving them a preview. We're showing them the pack probabilities, which is something that they added last year. Uh, that's not new. Um, but I think this is just another measure that EA is trying out. Now, again, right now, it's not in the game for forever. It's only out till July 16th. Um, but at least it seems like EA is trying to do this just to try it out, see how it works, 
and because of course they've come under fire for a lot of that uh that stipulation so in my opinion when ea adds something like this to the game though i think it's gonna stick i honestly think that we are gonna see this stuff in fifa 22 which is kind of scary because these packs it's crazy it's crazy what this does to the game now let's talk about it again how do i view this is this a w or is this an l well always as we know EA is so smart with this stuff, right? They are so, so, so smart with this stuff. And even though it seems like, hey, if you're somebody like me who runs a road to glory, right? I've got, you know, I've made a lot of coins this year. I have a 50 million transfer profit. I've got an insane club of players. Um, you know, as an RTG account that has not spent any coins on FIFA this year, having some of the cards that I have in the club, uh, for me, this is like, all right, I don't spend money on FIFA points. So how does this, how does this apply to me? Well, the reason why this is a W for EA Sports is because basically what they're doing is people that don't spend FIFA points, they're getting them in the store, right? This is this is why it's a W for EA. They're getting you to go into the store and become familiar with this area. If you haven't, you know, bought a lot of FIFA points before or you're not a huge promo pack person, they're getting you used to opening packs, not having to, I guess, get they're 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 getting, they're allowing you to, I guess, fulfill your desire to open a pack, even though you don't get the stuff inside of it, you get to watch the pack animation, you get to see what comes out. And then afterwards for the first pack, you get to decide. And it's like, well, you know what? That pack was pretty good. Maybe I want to open some more. Then you put on some FIFA points or then you spend the coins to get that pack. And then you're kind of hooked, right? So it's a W in EA's mind in the sense that they get to pull people into this section and try to lure them in with a pack. Now, of course, these packs right here that I opened and previewed, not good, right? 83 rated cards, no thanks. I'm not gonna buy those, right? That does not really make me want to go and open packs. But of course, this is gonna be a place where if there's new packs, that are added into the game every single day. The, these packs right here, these premium gold packs that are that are out every single day, they're always out in the game. Your preview expires every 24 hours. So every single day, you're gonna be able to go on to the game to preview this pack. If you get something good, great, you buy the pack. Because a lot of times, you know what? A lot of you are probably thinking, hey, if you would have packed like an Mbappe from this 125,000 coin pack, which Mbappe is only like 130k anyway, uh, let, let's say I would have packed a big Path to Glory player, you would have been like, yeah, I'll go buy this pack for 125k and sell what I just packed and make coins, right? And that's where it's affecting the market today. It's actually affecting the market like crazy amounts. But that's kind of like the issue with this. Now, how do I feel about these packs? I think it's a W for people in FIFA in that sense. You can log on to FIFA every single day because this resets every 24 hours and these packs that are here, whether it's a 7.5K pack or whether it's a promo pack, you're able to log into FIFA every single day and to open a pack for quote unquote free or multiple packs for free. And if you get something great, then you basically just buy the pack with the coins or the FIFA points and you get more coins than what that pack value was worth. Um, because you just open it, got the preview. Okay, it wasn't good. I'll leave it. Okay, it was really good today. I'll buy it and use those coins. That's going to really impact this game a lot and really impact the market as we've already seen today. We'll talk about that a bit more later on a video tonight. But again, I think the whole concept of this is just, it's wild. I was not expecting this today. I mean, people on Twitter were going bananas about it. A lot of people were saying uh, on Twitter that they think that this is just it's very smart from EA Sports because again, EA is so so smart with this stuff um, that it's it's crazy that they can figure this stuff out. And it's it's it seems to us like they're doing something nice for the community, right? Like it's a huge W. But really, what this is going to do for a lot of people is get them more into packs, make them want to buy packs more. But at the same time, EA is also showing people that are suing them that uh, they're showing those people what they could be getting from these packs, so it's not technically gambling even though it has a higher potential with this to probably make somebody want to open even more packs. So that's kind of the scary thing with this. So, you know, I do think that is kind of cool um, for the game itself. I'm really curious to see if it comes out after um, this whole period is over though, right? That's the one thing that I'm curious to see what happens because as of right now, again, this stuff is only gonna be in the game until July 16th. So I, this is kind of like a trial run from EA. But I also think that it's something that's going to be sticking. And I think it's something that we're going to see in FIFA 22. And that's going to mean crazy things for this market and crazy things for this game every single week. This market's going to be more volatile than ever, have more supply than ever if, if, this, is going to be, uh, if this is going to be how it's going to be. So 
I guess, again, the biggest W for the day for the community is that if you're somebody who doesn't like to buy FIFA points, uh, you can go in here every day and not spend coins or FIFA points, see what kind of pack you get, and then decide from there. Um, which a lot of people today went in and they packed a cool card. So they bought the pack and made coins and they profited on it, right? Other people like myself, they're like, yeah, I open up one of these packs. It shows me how bad the value is and I don't want to be a part of it. And I don't want to be a part of it. But again, I think the bottom line here is that EA is winning, right? EA is winning with this because again, they're, they're showing people how it's not promoting gambling, even though it really is even more. And they're ultimately, in my opinion, going to get more people to spend FIFA points and to spend coins on packs because it's going to draw them back to the store every single day, right? Every single day when there's new packs, you're going to go to the store. And as if you're a hardcore player on this game, you're going to go in here and say, man, I'm going to open my pack today and see what EA gives me and see what's going to happen. And, and, you know, we have lightning rounds happening right now too. So, you know, it's just kind of like, I'm going to take my shot at this. It's free. Why not? Especially with these packs that are going every single hour. So yeah, it's definitely wild. And again, what this also did today and what was smart on EA's hands as well is it brought so many people back to the game. It brought so many people back to the game today. Of course, we have new Path to Glory cards that are in packs for the next week. Um, and, you know, people are seeing this like, yo, man, get on FIFA. All the all people's people are getting on FIFA today and they're telling their friends, yo, you can go open free packs in FIFA and uh, you might get something sick. And then if you get something sick, then you decide if you want the card or not. Um, and that is that's really bringing people back onto FIFA that have not been on this game in a while. And I think that's really impacting the market as well. So what this does is for the market specifically is that it supplies, it supplies the game so much with supply because people that weren't going to open packs in the first place, uh, they got on FIFA today and they opened up these packs. They opened their preview. And if it was great, if it was good, then they bought the pack and they sold that card for more than what that pack cost was worth. And if you take a look at what's happened to the market, specifically these Path to Glory cards from Team 1 that just went out of packs, look at some of these price drops. Antoine Griezmann was 3.2 million coins this morning. He was 3.2 million coins today on Friday. He has now dropped a million coins and is now 2.1 mil. Crazy crazy price movements because what happened was is you had people that that usually weren't going to open packs they went in they did their promo pack their preview pack and they got something sick so they ended up buying it and of course going to sell that card for more that supply is destroying destroying the market it's actually actually insane how much these packs um affected the market today and of course People that were on FIFA today as well opened these up. They didn't have any coins, so they had to go sell stuff from their club or sell stuff from their teams or maybe even put on a few FIFA points to go get the card. Like, let's say you logged on FIFA today. You opened a 100,000 coin pack during lightning rounds. You only had like 15,000 coins, but you packed like a million coin card. You're going to go put on 20 bucks to get that million coin card because you just got an insane pull. You're going to sell that player, and now you're kind of hooked back into FIFA because you just spent some money on it. You're excited. And so from EA standpoint, today was just such a big W. The thing that pains me is that it's just, it's honestly getting more people addicted to the packs on FIFA. It really is. Upgrade packs this year have taken a whole new level and a whole new stance. And that's been a growing concept of this game. But even more so right now uh, with the store packs, if this continues into FIFA 22, it's, it's going to be scary, right? It's going to impact the market every single day. There's going to be supply coming on in this game every single day with people that are opening those packs. Uh, the supply in total during the whole year of the game is going to be just immense. I mean, you think this year with Mbappe being like 100K, Messi's like, you know, under 100,000 coins, Ronaldo's 100,000 coins. Uh, it's just going to be worse next year with all that extra supply coming onto the game. So I think EA maybe underestimated the power uh, of what these packs could do today. Like how much is Messi? Is Messi like 90K or he's way lower than 100,000 coins. That was like a couple of weeks ago, man. Messi is 70 5,000 coins, is that how much he is? 75,000 coins for Messi on this game. Crazy. Crazy how low some of these most, some of these cards that people try to attain all year are now just so cheap at the end of the game. But that's kind of the model that EA is going for these days. They're just releasing more cards, more packs, and more special items for people to continually keep chasing after and going after. So again, this is, that is explained the new preview packs in FIFA and what they do and how they impact the market. It caused an insane, insane market crash today. But I want to know what you guys think because I think there is a W side to this. But I think what it also promotes is just more gambling and more addiction to packs in this game. So that's what I'm not a huge fan of. 
But again, for somebody like me who's an RTG player from a, a, my club perspective, um, every single day loading into the game and you know trying my preview pack, seeing what I get, uh, you know, this is going to bring so many new things to FIFA. Like, it's going to bring out more trolls. People are going to show packing clips of them, you know, packing some of these insane cards. Oh, I packed it in a preview pack and then I and then I claimed it, right? So you still get the joy of, of packing that card. You just didn't have to pay for it up front. You pay for it a little bit later um, if it was good. And then after that, you can keep going if you want to. So I don't know, man. I really, really, really want to know what you guys think down below in the comments because this is a huge, huge new thing that was added to FIFA. It destroyed the market, and it's basically it's basically like a free pack, and then you have to pay for it afterwards. So it's kind of crazy this came out today. Again, let me know down in the comments what you guys think, uh, and if you packed anything sick from your first ever preview packs in FIFA today. So that's the video for today, boys. Again, leave a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.